Wheels for Hope cares, especially after a disaster. For example, Eric received this 1999 Buick after being referred to Wheels for Hope by the Triangle Area Red Cross. The Red Cross empowers people after a personal disaster. Lou Esposito joins us now to share how they do it. It's nice to have you here, Lou. Thank you very much. So why did Eric need a car? Eric, need, Eric was actually um, a, a victim of the earthquake in Haiti. Okay. So he um, met up with one of our volunteers on the U.S. Mercy. He was transferred to the UNC Burn Center. He spent months mm. in rehab. And um, at that time when, when he was released, he had no way to get around. He came here from Haiti, obviously. Probably with the clothes on his back or very little. Well, yeah, what was left of, of the clothes on his back, definitely. Mm -hmm. And um, so once he got a driver's license, once he was recovered, he needed a way to get around. He needed a, a, a way to, to start to be productive and useful again. And Wheels for Hope w was able to provide that for him. And mm -hmm. it was a wonderful day for him and a wonderful day for us. And he's actually come back to us since then in his car that he received <laughs> from Wills for Hope and offered to volunteer that with is us. Wonderful. And it is. That is yeah. so incredible. Your organization has a really strong tie with Wills for Hope, right? We definitely do. Um, if you think about it, when you lose your home to fire, if your home is devastated, there's a good chance that you could lose your vehicle to mm -hmm. fire as well. And that happens not real often, but it does happen sometimes. Wills for Hope is really the only option mm -hmm. out there for us to, to help people get that back when they don't have another way to do it. If they didn't have insurance on their car, maybe it was paid for, they only had liability. Mm -hmm. And Wills for Hope is, is our resource for that. How can the community get involved with the Red Cross? With the Red Cross, you can um, click at redcross.org to and, and give money to help us help people. Mm -hmm. um, you can volunteer in the same place. We're looking for volunteers right now for to help us with the U.S. Open, which is going to be really fun because yes. you get to spend the day at the Open. Yes. And we have sign-ups for that on our Facebook at facebook.com slash Red Cross Triangle. And the Red Cross always needs support because you're there. Whether it's a flood, a fire, a hurricane, the Red Cross, you can always count on the organization. 24-7, 365, and it's funny that you say flood, fire. Um, last week we had fire, a tornado, threats of floods, and more fire. Mm. So 24-7, 365, when we average three fires a day. Wow. Right. And this could be anywhere in the area. It could be anywhere in our 20 counties mm -hmm. is, is that the, the three fires a day across the nation. Um, it's a lot more than that. Yeah. It's like every every nine minutes. And at the event that you're looking for volunteers for down at the U.S. Open, is it for the entire period or could you volunteer for a day or how does that work? You can volunteer for a half a day. You can volunteer for multiple days. We have two shifts a day mm -hmm. and the rest of the day you get to spend at the Open. So nice. the rest of the day is full. We, we'll feed you a meal there. And um, it's open to the entire community. You don't have to be an existing Red Cross volunteer here. Anybody can sign up to help us work those concession stands that are going to support the work that we do with Wheels for Hope and, you know, with, with our, our victims of disaster every day. Lou, thank you so much. Thank you, Valanda. Since 2010, Wheels for Hope has placed 10 vehicles with disaster victims. If you can help, donate your old vehicle to Wheels, the number four, Hope. Call them at 919-832-1941.